Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate with Nate's Manufactured Home Tours. Sit back and relax and enjoy the tour. Hope you enjoy this one. We are going to be touring the Glacier Peak at Intermountain Homes in Kalispell, Montana. Traffic. Once again, we're located right next to a highway, so there will be uh, lots of road noise while we're on the outside here. And I do apologize for the shakiness of the video. This is my first time ever doing this, and I didn't quite get all my equipment in time at the time that I had to come do this tour. finish taking a look at the outside of the home here and then we'll move on to the inside as you can see we've got a back door back here and then over here in the dining room area we do have a double French door to uh, put your nice deck on outside As we step inside, the first thing you will see is the living room, and we've got the uh, Cornish boxes on all the windows in this house, so that's a nice little added feature that they included with this house. You've got your ceiling fan and light with a tray ceiling, and you can always get that uh, accented with different colors to help it stand out a little bit more. Swing around here, take a better look at this living room from over in your dining room area. You can see it's a good sized living room, plenty of space. You've got a few different places you can put your TV, whether it be that wall or the wall on the bedroom. And we'll swing around here, we'll take a look at the dining room area. They've got a nice large table showing you've got plenty of room for a nice big table to have plenty of guests over. come over here we'll take a look at the kitchen and there again the Cornish boxes on the windows continue on you've got the nice rounded corners on the countertops Little artwork underneath the or wrought iron work underneath your island there helping support that edge you got dark black stainless steel sink along with stainless steel frigidaire appliances all the way throughout the house And the cabinets, if you're not uh, happy with the colors, you can always change the colors of the cabinets. And, you know, there's lots of different options that you can get with these homes. There again, you've got your stainless steel appliances. Plenty of cabinet space with soft closed doors so you don't have to worry about slamming the doors or banging shut as you let go.
got this massive fridge freezer combo. If you can't feed a family in with that and have enough storage in there, I would say you got issues. And then here we have a list of all the appliances that are in the home. Sorry, it took me a minute to get this focused in. But on this list, you have all the contact numbers of all the, for all the appliances. So if you ever have any warranty issues, you would know who to contact. Now we're going to head on down the hallway here. Go check out the bedrooms and the bathrooms. And there's the guest bathroom, kids bathroom, whatever you would like to call it. We've got the dark brass uh, faucets and shower head. Once again, this isn't the biggest bathroom I've seen, but uh, you do have the nice square porcelain sinks. Plenty of counter space in there. A couple cabinets also. And you have the soft clothes on your drawers also. I didn't quite get it to catch for the soft clothes. There we go. Now let's head over across the hall into the first kids room. As we walk out you'll notice all the, the corners in this house have the bull nose corners instead of the square corners which allows for better durability. This bedroom is going to be 10 foot 6 by 10 foot. As you can see you've still plenty of space for your kids in here. Like the little mirror they got hanging above the bed. Again, the Cornish boxes continue on throughout all the windows in the house. And we'll come over here and check out the closet here in just a second. And here we have the closet. Not the biggest closet I've seen in any of these homes, but big enough for this room and you should have plenty of storage in the closet. It does run the full width of the bedroom. Here we'll come across the hall over into the second bedroom. This one is a little bit smaller at 9 foot 5 inches by 10 feet. As you can see they've got two twin beds in here so you could easily fit two kids in here if need be. Once again the closet's going to be about the same size as the closet in the last bedroom. Now as we come out of bedroom two here, you see we've got a nice little linen closet in the hallway. Light switch up top so you can turn the light on in case it's dark in there. Oops, forgot to turn the light off. 
Then we come down here, we looks like we've got the laundry room slash utility room. Straight ahead of me there is where you will see what the water heater would be. I believe this home comes with a 50 gallon water heater. Got a sink in the laundry room with the industrial uh, hook uh, nozzle there that you can detach and spray things off if you need to. Here is going to be your washer and dryer area with cabinets above so you can store all your laundry soap and bleach and everything else that you might need in here. That red handle you see there is going to be your main water shutoff in case of any leaks. And you've got a nice built-in coat rack for your mudroom. If you decide to put a garage or come in through the back door after playing outside in the dirt. All right, as we come out of the laundry room here, we've got, uh, well on the left here, a den separate from your living room. You can set this up as a game room, a TV room, whatever room you would like it to be. It can also even be set up as a fourth bedroom. That is an option with this house. Alright, let's head on down here to this master bedroom, take a look at what we got down here. In here, the master bedroom is going to be 14 foot by 14 foot. You have a separate closet from the bathroom, with a lot of places will include the closet inside the bathroom. You've got that tray ceiling again with the fan and light. You could actually, once again, you can get that... Uh, accented so it'll stand out a little bit more. And there's plenty of room for a king size bed in here if you do so decide to put in a king size versus the queen they have in here. Alright, let's take a look at this closet here. You got double doors on your closet. You've got plenty of space in here to hang your clothes. You've got double racks on each side. A single rack in the center so you can hang all your long stuff. Once again, plenty of room in here. All right, let's head on over into the master bathroom here. We all know as adults that we would like our master bathroom to be fairly nice. We've got plenty of counter space. Once again, we've got the square porcelain sinks with the dark brass faucets. Nice large mirror, plenty of lighting above for the wife to do her makeup. A couple cabinets in the bathroom. <clears throat> do have a nice big tub. This tub is about five and a half feet long. It is knee deep. I checked it out after filming and it is about three feet wide. So plenty of space in the tub for whoever decides to soak in the tub. 
it does have the jacuzzi jets in it. Here we have the wet closet or toilet room, whichever you would prefer to call it. So you can do your business in private. And over here we have the 60 inch shower. This home has it as a one piece shower. You can get this optioned in as a tile shower if you so choose. Just add a little bit extra to the cost. Alright, let's head on out of here and take one last look at the kitchen while we wrap this thing up. I do apologize, I'm not going to be able to provide any pricing at the time as the area that we are in. We've had a big influx of people moving in from out of state due to this pandemic. And prices have gone through the roof here, so I'm unable to provide accurate pricing because once the pandemic is over, pricing is going to go back down. I will include in the comments the price once I am provided a price so you can go back through the comments later on and look to see what the price of this home would be thank you for watching if you like this video please hit like and subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified next time I upload a video once again thank you for your time and see you next time